Good morning. It's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee, and it is day, I don't know what day it is, but it's Project Part 9. Okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, so we're doing the Anna Griffin uh, Simply Wildflower Meadows scrapbook. I am doing the whole scrapbook for everybody, and it's a beginner's course. And um, if you like this one, I'll be doing the Christmas one. And I have a lot of videos and tutorials. Go to my playlist and you will see a playlist on how to make your own album and not buying the album and using your own papers. And you will see a playlist of albums that you get from Etsy Images. And they're uh, like size nine by 10 album so that it fits your images. Um, there's so many card tutorials. There's a lot of lace tutorials. Glue Gun Chronicles was where I started. And yeah, so if you're following me, there's a lot to see. So this is our layout. This is what we're going to do. And um, so when I was putting the papers together, this paper got sandwiched in between others and I couldn't find it. So I have this is white and this one is the blue color, but I fixed it and found it. But I, I, I made that mistake on this one. I don't even think you can really tell that much. Um, it matches so much. It looks like it was meant to be like that. So if you like that idea, um, you can do that, but I fixed it. So let's move this off. And if you are doing it new with me, it is the two white pages, and on the back is the pink uh, flowers. So let's go over what we need. We need two of these journaling. We need two of the uh, five by seven photo mats that make a four by six inside the gold. Um, we need two of the little four by sixes and then it's smaller and five the gold. Um, we need two of the green strips. We need two sheets that are bluish gray, four inches by 12, one for each. And then the flowers, move it off so you can see it because they do get lost. Okay, we need two of the dragonflies. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. And then we need four of the petals going that direction. And we need four of the petals going this direction. Okay, so we are going to uh, prep. And so we're going to put these like that right here. So let's put tape, 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 and let's get busy. Yesterday I had a UPS truck um, come and it messed up my train of thought. I got sappy at the end and was crying um, because I think I let y'all down. So anyway, y'all, if you didn't watch the end, you wouldn't know that I didn't need to say that, I guess. Um, where, 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 where I see tape on the edge so it doesn't get sticky. I'm turning that on a number. So that's what you do when you have tape that's going off the edge. You just turn it under and then it's a thought. It is going to be in a plastic sleeve so you won't see it, but I don't want it to snag or anything. Put that there. This one. Make sure when you cut it, Go in the right direction and when you place it go in the right direction. But yeah, um, you 
GPS dropped off in the integration box, and it's for members only. And if you're not a member, oh, you're missing out. But it's members only, and I got the new paper collection that they print in in house too. So we're going to take the green, and we're just going to put it on top of the blue. All the way down. Okay, now we're going to these and this. I the wrong shapes and sizes. Keep those separate. Okay, and so this is one here and here. And we are going to make it easy on ourselves. There's a trick to some of this that I have learned by doing so many albums. I've followed Anna since before 20, since 1901, maybe? I don't know. It's been like 27 years. More than 20. Anyway, I have her first item she ever sold, and I have so many. Anyway, so we are going to turn this. Let's, let's do this. Let's get my tape and let's put some tape on these. Let's peel this off. And which direction is this going to go? This is going to go that direction. Because if you put it that direction, you kind of hide all the lines with my idea. So I'm going to put it, and I'm going to put it like right there, and I'm going to center it. See how it becomes one piece now? Now I'm going to put it as close to the edge and put it right about there. I'm do that on both so it's a little matchy-matchy. Nothing needs to be matchy-matchy. Um, I'm a minimalist, is that the right word? When I am scrapbooking and when I am making cards, I don't like to add seven or eight embellishments, but because this is for my granddaughter and it's a kit, my granddaughter or something, two of them, I went ahead and I used all of it. I wanted to make it look extra special but when I'm gifting these to the military or to churches, I only use like three embellishments, which is a lot. Um, three embellishments as in flowers and then always one or two of the gold. So, you know, but some people use seven. And I'm like, ooh, I can't afford seven. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to do this and this. And I'll put the small one here so that it doesn't crowd. See how it, it would crowd and put that there? So that's why I did that. That's my thought process. I want to teach y'all a thought process. So this is how I'm having it laid out. Okay. So um, if you're new here, since this is for beginners, I want to under, let you understand why the bigger one's on top and the small one's on the bottom. So let's go ahead and use my Walmart tape, put some tape in the middle and the four corners. And I'll bring it closer so I'm looking at it. So it's going right about there and what I'm doing is kind of centering it to the middle of the page. Do the four corners so that they take step down and don't flare up. This one I am centering to the middle of the white page. Okay, now we're going to get this lined up and we want it equal so we'll measure to make sure that it's equal. Down with that. We have to 
this at right there. The first one I always just uh, eyeball, and then the second one I want one inch down. You can measure both directions. I don't think I have it. I'm eyeballing it. <laughs> I used to teach scrapbooking classes, so I'm teaching scrapbooking classes now, but it's online. I used to teach scrapbooking classes um, oh, maybe in the 90s, 2000s. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, now let's get this page the right and let's do the right one so that it looks right and get all the pieces over here. So, we'll do it. So, Dragonfly, I put on the blue so that it would pop because if I put it on the white, it doesn't, you can't see it. But if you put it on the blue, see how, you see how it popped? And that's why I did it there. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. This one. I'm going to stick it underneath here, and I'm actually going to let that leaf um, hang on. So it goes there. This one. It looks quick and easy once you have already laid it out and looked at it and eyeballed it over and over. So that one goes there. So now we just want the right flowers of leaves. So that one goes there. That one goes there. And I'll show you as I go to use it. Here. So I did four, four of the cabbage rose type. Okay, so up at the top corner, this is the direction but we're going to twist it and we're going to put it at the corner and we're going to stay off of the mat, the white mat. We're going to be on the gold so that it stays out of the way. This one is what it looks like. They're opposites. So these are going the opposite way and we're going to stay off of this white inside and only be on the gold so that the picture works. Hey, I'm making a video of volume five. Uh, telling me that I have to pick up practical from school to make So this is what that one looks like. And we're going to go in this corner. We're going to get as close to the edge of the paper and put it there. That's going to have to be a tuck spot. And I um, didn't peel it off, but I, I'm not worried. This one, I'll show you what I mean by a tuck spot. Um, we're going to peel this off. We're going to keep some of that paper on there and it's this one and we're going to put it right here and we're going to actually let this leak i'll show you in a second be on top and there and just in case it needs to be a tuck spot where you need to put the picture underneath we left that piece of paper so let me bring it up closer so you can see what we're we just did okay so that was that side and now we're going to do this side which is the left I'm going to bring this over and we're going to read it okay so the 
dragonfly. My washer's going crazy. I think it's off balance. That was scary. I'm going to do the dragonfly here. And do you remember why? So it pops. And you can see it. We didn't have to use a dragonfly, but we had so much supplies that we might as well use it on this pit. We're going to take this one. And once again, we're going to stick it and put it right about there. We're going to take this piece. Going to add some more layer or embellishments, and we're going to put it right about there. Now we want the corners to match, so this one here, this one here. Yeah, and this one here. And the reason why is they're just, they're the opposites. So we just did the opposite. Okay, so we're going to take this one, peel it off at the leaves, and then pull with your finger and have some paper stain on it. Because if we need it to be a tuck spot, it is. Okay, that way, see right here, it's not stuck and the um, picture can fit underneath it. We're going to do that on all four. So to remind yourself to do it, we start picking the paper off at the leaves. And then we put this one right about there. This one, that's what it looks like. This is my thought process on how I lay certain things down. So there you go. You might have a better idea, and if you do, comment down below of how I can make it easier on myself. But I, I think it's pretty easy. So and we're putting that one right there. And so when a picture goes under it, this is movable. movable. So there you go. Um, that was the left, this is the right, and that's how it's going to look in our album. All right, everybody, all my links are down below. I'm hoping you're enjoying this, and I hope that you subscribe, because you never know what I'm going to make. I do tons of Anna Griffin, but I also do so much more. I do a lot of lace, so if you want to follow me, go ahead. If you like the Anna, just watch Anna. If you like the lace, too, and want to learn that, there's so many tutorials on my playlist. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Links are down below.